What are your initial impressions of, of the linebackers so far? Initial impressions, they are just a high character group, very talented, athletic, tough, um, a lot of room for, uh, you know, I think we got a lot of room for just, uh, I'll say development, but what I mean by that is just learning the defense. But they're a great group, man, great leadership. I mean, really, really impressed with that. You have three starters returning, but yeah. I, I know there's a lot of competition. How would you describe where it stands right now? Competition. And it's, you know, it's kind of like next man up right now. Uh, so, you know, we have so many guys, so you kind of got to roll them and try to put people in spots. But they've been competing, and uh, I've been pleased with that part of it. And everybody's been learning everything, which is great, which uh, helps you in terms of, you know, trying to trying to put people in positions to play. So um, it's been it's been competitive, but it's you know guys are working. It's hey, awesome. Al, uh, the day your first press conference here asked you, what would it be like to be in a position to look at your whole room from top to bottom with no yeah. preconceived notions and mm -hmm. kind of start a new depth chart or start a new thing from just your own. Analysis. I mean, yeah. What's that been like for the first few weeks to just kind of you know sit back and get these guys on the field and yeah. really see what you've got in that room like with your eyes? It's been awesome because here's why: every kid knows that, so you get everybody's best. Like nobody's comfortable, nobody's complacent, everybody's growth-minded, everybody's eager. And so as a coach, you know I'm not coaching effort, and I'm not saying a place like this you ever would, but it's human nature, right? So it's been awesome because everybody's kind of bought into that. And, uh, and actually helping each other, man. Uh, you know, oddly enough, you know, I say oddly enough, but guys are very supportive of each other. But when they're out there, they're, you know, they want it. So it's been, it's been fun in that way. Is that hard? As I mean, like, a coach? Like, just meaning, like, usually you have precedent. You've got people who started. You've got returning starters. You've got captains. Is it, is it hard to start from top to bottom from the beginning? Well, I mean, look, Malik Harrison, for example, he's a fourth-year guy. He's a senior. I mean, clearly he's not on the same level as a freshman, right? I right. mean, so when I say that nobody's comfortable, I mean, Malik Harrison has earned enough equity in his body of work. He's an excellent yeah. talent. So I don't mean that. I mean more so in the middle. Uh, but I you see. take a guy like Dallas Gant, you know, who, who's a young player, and he, he's getting opportunities, he's emerging, Taraji Mitchell. Like, those guys, to me, are the ones I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah, so I some mean, guys do have equity. You got to. I okay. mean, what we, you know what I mean? Like, a guy like that, I mean, you got to – I mean, and he's 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 shown that he's worked his tail off. Uh, he's uh, you know been a I mean he's been a unbelievable he's been a leader. So okay. I don't want to be you know I don't want to say that. You know? Yeah, I got you. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like a guy like Tough Borland. Yeah, yeah tough. Yeah, those guys, man. Uh, I tell you, you know Pete Warner, Justin Hilliard, uh, Baron Browning. Those guys have been here, man. I mean they got equity. So I mean you know you, you know you uh, you respect that and uh, that stuff matters. You know? But are you in a position where you would make a change if you felt it wasn't the right move? No, I wouldn't say. I mean, this is the fourth practice, I think it is. So, I mean, you still got a lot left, you know. So, um, I don't feel like I'm ready to answer that yet. But uh, everybody's been working their tail off, so for sure. You mentioned Dale Scan. What has he done to emerge? Man, that guy, he's uh, done every, all the little things, talk special teams. In our culture, and this is something that's been here from Coach Meyer and I've uh, been fortunate to be around coaches that have been, uh, that have worked under Coach Meyer, but special teams is huge, right? And so a lot of times it's a rite of passage for a young player. And so Dallas Gant, man, he is, you know, he's taken that and run, ran with it. Uh, he's done a great job. And, and his role as a linebacker, man, he's, you watch the tape, he shows up, you know, he, and he's competing and he's every day getting better. So uh, really excited about him. He's done a great job. This unit took a decent amount of criticism last year. When you watched the tape, did you feel like that was justified? And how do you feel like it's, you guys look so far? Do you feel like this will be a strength of the team? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean last year criticism, I mean, they won, lost one game. So uh, everybody's got stuff to improve on, so I don't really get that much thought, to be honest. It uh, was yeah. I'm sorry. I know you weren't here last year, but yeah. from working with your guys, how much of a sense are you getting that what you're asking them to do is something new? Uh, that's a good question. That's a really good question. Um, honestly, um, they just kind of have bought in and have gone to work. Um, I mean, everything's new because you got a new scheme, right? So I think that's tied into it. Um, but there's no resistance. There's no, I mean, if they, if they make a mistake, you very rarely are they making it twice. So um, I think they've taken to it. You know, so I don't know if that answers your question, but um, you know, 
I, I don't give, I don't, I try to focus on the stuff that matters. It's kind of what, what they're doing now, fixing what they're doing or, you know, encouraging them, that type of deal. So, uh, you know, uh, I think they've been going, doing well with that adjustment. Now, like, you said earlier you're not coaching effort because everybody's busting their rear end. They are, that, man. You're not having to. It's I mean, the big time, right? They know. They know. Everybody here, I mean, every kid here, man, with Coach Marotti, yep. I mean, it's a culture. So um, everybody wakes up. I mean, you should see these guys at 5 a.m., man. They take the field running. Uh, it's a great culture. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, every, you know, human nature see, comes in every once in a while, but that's normal. But, Al, uh, yeah. What's the adjustment to Ryan Day? <clears throat> adjustment? Yeah. Man, you know what? Um, I don't know if they're I mean, I've, you know, uh, I think he's done – Obviously, done a really good job of uh, just communicating. So uh, I don't know if there's an adjustment, and that's hard for me because I'm just getting here. Yeah. So uh, seems like everything is, is rolling. Uh, to my understanding, rolling as it, like it has been. You know? so, Alan, I know you guys have been experimenting with a hybrid linebacker safety kind of position. Yeah. What is your guys' goal for that position? Just the, the playmaker, put them in position to make plays. You know, see what they can do well. Um, you know, kind of you know grow their skill set. You know. Um, so, you know, me and Coach Maddie, you know, we, you know, we, every day is kind of like, hey, Jeff, Coach Affley, trying to figure out, you know, uh, what a guy does well and then try to put him in a position to do it. What? Why? Why? Oh, God. That's my guy right there. Will you guys recruit to that position or do you just take what you've got and find that? Good question. You're a ball guy. Because, so the, the origination of that position was you take a safety. Who maybe not as fast, and you plug him in in that position. But now I feel like that guy. I mean, you think about historically, that guy is a guy who can say he can pass the rush the passer. Not every safety can do that. He's a guy that has to be able to play at the line of scrimmage, use his hands. Not every safety can do that. The guy has to be able to cover man, a slot. Not every linebacker can do that. So, and it's funny. High school is they set the trend. You're seeing high schools use that guy, and so you kind of do. You can recruit to that guy. I think. To a certain extent, that's a great question. Yeah. Now, would you would you mind just in in how you anticipate you guys putting three linebackers on the field or whatever, two in the hybrid position on yeah. a typical down? And I know offenses change. I know there's no such thing as a typical offense or down anymore. Yeah. What are the responsibilities of those three of the three linebackers who will be in on first and ten most of the time? Stop the run. Just, I, I just, can play. you go, what you just did with the hybrid position, yeah. just how you think about linebacker and the kind of player you're looking for at each of those three spots. Um, yeah, so so you take the Mike and Will, uh, those guys got to be, fundamentally, they got to be excellent because they're closer to the ball. And we're a fundamentally, uh, you know, I don't know what the right word is, but a focused unit. So we talk about leverage, you talk about footwork, you talk about hands all those things, tackling. So we're looking for guys who kind of buy into that first off and that built like a mastery of that. Uh, and then, you know, you got to be instinctive. You got to be able to use your eyes, you got to see, read your keys, and you have to be able to, uh, to, to act on it. So instincts are big. And guys that love contact, you know. So if you're looking for characteristics, you know, those are the kind of things we're looking for, man. And obviously you got to be able to run, but everybody here can run. You got one guys who love contact that just like seek it. You know, I said to something to Kayvon Pope today, he was, uh, you know, there was a play, uh, an inside drill, and, you know, it was kind of, it was over on the opposite side. And he just ran over and just got, con just made contact, just to make it. And I said, man, you're a contact seeker. You know, those types of characteristics you like. He's a young guy, he's going to be a really good player. But those are the kind of things you look for in those positions, you know. You know, uh, we've been fortunate, fortunate to be around some real good ones, but, those guys got to be missiles, and they got to love it. And you guys know it. I mean, it's more, I mean, hell, they were at practice today. Carpenter, uh, 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 Josh, I mean, those guys, all those guys, historically here, have been ball players, physical, and run, and, and, and uh, you know, and they're buying the fundamentals.